Hello everybody, my name is Newcast Mama, and today I seek vengeance. This is no ordinary Path of Champions game. We are going to go after what was once taken from us, alright? The right to say that we beat this with Bilgewater, and you know who took it first? The Riot Gods, that's right. We're going into the Aurelian Soul. We're going for that silver liquor to give us some more beautiful relics. I swear to God, if uh, A-Soul has perfected mana flow again. Okay, duplicate I can work with. Duplicate I can work with. The only thing I couldn't work with was the fact that they got, like, so many things right off the bat. Okay, and Yielding Determination, annoying, which is fine, though. I think we can beat it. And Sejuani, okay. Sejuani's a joke. We're going to crush Sejuani. Give us a good power. Stabilized is good. We went, oh, yeah, by the way, relic-wise, all the same. It's literally almost the exact same as our previous run. The only thing that's different is we just went for the Spell Shield because... That was our only mistake, was that we just, we didn't grab it immediately, and because of that, we got silenced out of our win, our victory, alright? Which made me the angriest I've ever been in this game, I swear. <laughs> so, yeah, we're not gonna let that happen again, are we? Um, as you can tell, I, I don't really want to talk about it, you know, it's, it's a traumatizing event for me, alright? I hope you understand. Uh, we're gonna play Grumble Slug, and we're just gonna just swing immediately, like, and without question. Uh, yeah, we're just swinging here. We'll keep the Tentacle Smash up. Uh, yeah. This is... I think I want to keep the Tentacle Smash this time around. Alright. Oh, you're dead. This should be easy. All right, beautiful. We'll get an item on our tentacle, and then we're just gonna... Oh, beautiful. Spell shield. Yeah, this game's over. All right. This game is over. Allow is just gonna win us the game right here. We move against fear, against doubt. <laughs> See, since Allow levels, right, I can attack with all of them right here. And then because of that, I can then rally, then scout attack, and then attack again. It's just the dumbest combo of all time, I swear. And there's, it makes it so easy to like triple attack and around and just OTK. And it, the, the, the thing is, it's such a good combo that you typically don't even need it. That's how good of a combo it is right there. Um, but, you know, every once in a while, whenever you do need it, you're glad you have it so that you're not worried about waiting another turn. Uh, it's, it just makes it so that if by mana four or three or two, depending on whatever you get in your Allawi, you're typically able to do good things. Now, this is really good for us because it's a free attack, so I will just grab it. Free attacks on Alawi are very, very good. And... Well, crap. Which one do I even want here? Like, Brittle Steel's okay. And Nivea's... I mean, this guy just gives us a free attack, right? So maybe I just go for a Nivea. I mean, Titan Dax on a Nivea is okay, but and pretty good, actually, overall. Yeah, maybe I'll just do that. I mean, what is this? Rekindler? We'll take an extra reroll, sure. Alright. Oh, shoot, I should've went... I don't think I have Arcade and Nivea set on my Lally, so that's unfortunate, but... I do not, do I? Yep, I don't. I called it. Whatever. We've got two free attacks here, so we're just gonna roll from the Lally, just in case we don't get it off of the... See, like, Answer Prayer is really good for us in case we don't have a Lally to start, but we do. So we're gonna go for the free attack here, like so. We don't even care about this guy living, by the way. This guy is so inconsequential to us. Like, we'll just... We're attacking with both here. They're gonna block this guy, obviously, but... We're attacking with both. And then, we're gonna play Bubble Bear next round. Alright, Bubble Bear next round. And then he's just absolutely gigantic. And then we're gonna play Alawi next round afterwards. And we're just gonna win the game. So that'll be pretty fun. It's all about getting to this A-Soul, guys. It's, that's just all it is. That's all it is. It's getting back to A-Soul. We're, we're on a speed run to the A-Soul train here. Uh, is what we're at right now. Alright. Beautiful. We already won again. As if we didn't... We could have also then attacked multiple more times. Uh, it's pretty great. And the reason why I keep saving that Alali, by the way, is because she actually gets bigger with attacks as we go along, right? Because, like, the more we spawn the tentacles, the bigger the Alawis get. So that's why I can just wait until, like, the final swing for her to be as big as possible to swing with her. Because that's when she'd do the most damage anyways, right? So you kind of want to hold her instead of uh, the other way around. I just want cheap units here. 
Uh, Rekindler is going to give us a second chance. We'll go into Zoe. Okay, there, we've got an all-round end oh, power overwhelming so far, which is just a joke because power overwhelming sucks. Uh, I changed my mind on that one. I forgot to put the new skin in, but we don't care. We're just going for the free attacks. We keep getting the attack token first, which is exactly what we want. I keep talking right now. You should shut me up. That's right. Did you shut me up yet? You haven't. Do it now. Please do it. Oh my god, I keep talking. All right. But uh, we're going to keep it moving here. All right, we're gonna keep it moving here. Uh, I think I go answer prayer here. I would love to get to my Alawi. Beautiful. They have spell shield anyways. They can stun that guy all they want. Um. I might have to attack with both Alawis, though, unfortunately. I do. I do have to attack with both Alawis, but I think I just win the game anyways. Beautiful. All right. Look at that. All right, we're on to this, the next boss, right? Like, I'm pretty sure. I think we just got the next boss. But see how much that spell shield's already helped us out, by the way? Like, that spell shield on its own has already won us games, which is kind of crazy when you think about it. Like, that spell shield is already doing better. So maybe this is the best relic combo. I don't even know. Like, this might be the best one for Lally. Oh my god, excuse me. Um, just get more of him, I guess. We just want cheap units. Oh, that's really good, though. Uh, we'll buy something here from the shop, see what we can get. Whatever. It's telling me to grab it. I'll grab it. Uh, we'll just leave it as is. And we're going into Fedora here. Before I forget, put the Arcade Nibia on. Okay. Get rid of you. Keep you. Okay. We got an Alawi right in the start of our hand, which is what we want. Unfortunately, we won't be able to play Alawi until turn three instead of turn two. Alright. We're in a good spot. Just give ourselves more Lowey anyways. Like, we could play Lowey earlier, actually, but it wouldn't really make sense. I'm gonna play this first, actually, so that we get the free attack. And also then the counterfeit copies buffs stuff as well. I don't have to attack with this, so there's no reason to. Just chill out a little bit here. And then I can always just Tentacle Smash next round. Probably make a copy of Tentacle Smash, to be honest. What? Okay, well. Let's just hope this guy lives here. I'm one off being able to... Well... What if four off for being... Alright, whatever. That's fine. I think we still win here. Next turn. But maybe I'm wrong. Because I'm just going to play a Lowy first. So, Fiora gets the open attack, but she doesn't charge my Lowy. That's the difference. Um, and then what we're going to do is... We're going to counterfeit this. Play it. So that we get bonus stuff for our, our tentacles here. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to attack with everything and kill off Fiora, which is perfect lethal. And then on top of that, we also level up Alawi so we'll be able to attack two more times afterwards. But yeah. Beautiful. All right. Nice. We've done it. And then, even if we didn't finish it that, like, immediately, we would have been able to scout attack with Maui and then attack again with everything. So, it gets pretty OP pretty quickly. Uh, the, the most important part is just getting that first level up off, right? Like, once you get the level up off, you're, you've probably won the game. But you just need to level up. 
Getting the black cleaver is awesome. Oh my god, that's good too. But I think the black cleaver is a little bit more rare, so we're going to go for that one. And stun the strongest enemy is beautiful. Get, I don't care about duplicate. I Guys, we don't care about the powers here. We're going to win no matter what, so it's just... Like, I'm, I, this is a destined run, all right? We have a vengeance on our minds, all right? There is there is nothing in the world that can stop you and I from finishing this run off, all right? There's, it's just destiny at this point, right? And because it's just destiny, you you have to respect it, all right? Um, we're going to go like this. I'm going to play the Grumble Slug. Good use of my mana. And then we have Tentacle Smash for next round. Uh... Actually, I could hold the Tentacle Smash. Just grab another one, pull him in so that he can't do anything, and then play the Bubble Bear next to also spawn up some. No! Okay. Well, it doesn't matter what I do there. They were dead anyways, so that is okay. Everything is dead there. I'm okay with that. Um, because now I can play the Bubble Bear, spawn him in again, and then I can play Tentacle Smash as well. Ooh. Alright, Tentacle Smash will be what happens next turn. Bubble Bear at this point is just a blocker. Oh, jeez, man. Why do they hate Bubble Bear? Why do they hate Bubble Bear? I'm just trying to get as many Tentacle Smashes in my deck as possible because they're they're really good. Uh, I know, crazy. Um, and we are definitely Tentacle Smashing that bad boy. Uh, that, that, that three right there is kind of terrifying, especially whenever they have Duplicate. What is it? Oh, extra mana gem and giant spell. That's actually pretty good for us. Um, we're just going to give ourselves another tentacle smash. That's right. Um, and then we are going to play double Lowy here and a 424 Lowy. I don't even think we need to attack immediately with the other Lowy. We don't. We don't. So we're going to go here, here. Uh, and we're just going to level. Oh, shoot. I might have messed up, actually. I think I can still rectify. Okay, I was gonna say if they use the thing here, my my guy wouldn't have struck, right? Which is would have been a big problem, but it's fine anyways because we don't have anything to worry about. Now what I'm gonna do is then I get to attack with this bad boy right here, or bad girl, really, um, when you think about it. But either way, we just get to attack with Alawi here on the scout attack, and she's going to grow her health, meaning that nothing can literally block her at all. She's a 29-32. It's over. GP is done for. Get out of here, baby. Uh, we didn't even lose any health, really, because I think standing up... I think we're at 36 health, right? And if we're at 36 health, yeah, we just heal back up to full. Uh, we're going to get the item chest here. Uh, not terrible. Let's we'll grab you. I, I'd like to... Pref I'd prefer to keep my rerolls if I can. Savage... I, guys, I think Savage Shield is genuinely just better. And the reason why is because... If I can, as long as I can keep Alawi alive, we're going to win the game, right? Like, that's the whole idea. It's like, I know she needs to do damage, but typically we can level her up if we need to by attacking with both Alawis, right? So, like, I'm not even that worried about that. I'm more worried about, like, hey, let's just make sure that the Alawis can't die, right? Like, they have enough health that they're going to live, right, um, If whenever I go in for my first attack. That's what I'm worried about. Now, with 9 health, they should be fine with Black Cleaver and all that stuff, so I, I wouldn't worry about it too much anymore, but at the beginning, I would be very worried about it because of that um, and everything like that. But we are going to treat another Lowie in hand, play this bad boy, and just let them do damage. I don't really care. It's fine. We're going to play this guy. Uh, we'll actually give the Sea's voice a uh, little bit of thing here. All right, that's what we'll, we'll do. We're just we're in the business of just buffing this guy. That's about it. Um, and then we're gonna play Alawi next round, or two rounds from now, sorry. And then we're just gonna win the game. So it's pretty good. Stun that guy as well. Unfortunately, I cannot. So she doesn't actually level here, so I can just play Box to Puss and block. So maybe that's what I do. I think I just play Boctopus and I block here. Alright. We're just going to pass here, let him die, and then we're going to play the Alawi. Unfortunately, we are going to have her level. 
Now she is stunned, so it should be okay here. She is stunned. Keep that in mind. And I do have ways to buff our tentacle boy back up here. Uh, but first I want to give... Yo, that's kind of illegal, bro. Like, whoa, 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 whoa. I think I can get him back here, actually. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get him back, baby. Get our Alawi back. Summon her again here. Look at that. Look at that. There's, dude, I got double Alawi now. It's over, man. It's so over. Look at this. Look at this. What are you even gonna do? I just want to be able to scout attack with all three Alawis. That's really what I'm waiting for. Um, yeah, that that's the dream here. Look at that. Look at that. And then this guy and this guy can all kill that guy, um, which is pretty great. So, like, look what I can do here. Pretty sure he is. Yeah, like, look at that. And then I'd be able to attack again, by the way. Because that's just the scout attack, right? Look at how much spawn you get just off of the attack value, right? Like, because you're increasing the value of the spawn. Look at that. Look at that, man. And then I get to attack. I would have been able to attack again after doing all of that, right? Like, that's insane. It's beautiful, really. Okay. Beautiful. Uh, Grumble Slug with Vampiric Scepter is actually really good here, so we're gonna do that. I actually like Grumble Slug like, quite a lot. Uh, oh my god, yes. Yes, unstable inventory, let's go. Uh, Cattles of the Aeons is decent. Phage, actually, on the Mighty Portal is a little bit better, in my opinion. This guy's good too, but... I don't know. I, I think I'd rather just have a permanent unit that's very similar. Like, yeah, I, don't, I won't have Lifesteal, but... Which one would I rather go into here? Definitely Katarina. Yeah, I, I'd much rather go into the, the the Nexus that revives than the Nautilus that'll have a lot of mana to work with. Uh, oh, he's, he's a Lurker now, huh? Mar Mariner's Rise. I actually like that a lot. That's a cool emblem. Potentially a Pike in the future? Question mark. Uh, what well, you? Ooh, I like that. He discounts as well. Katarina's gonna play, obviously. Now, I will just attack with both. You know what? I'll just attack with him. I mean, if he wants to kill his Katarina, be my guest. Because I've I've got a grumble uh, or bubble bear next turn that's gonna plant some uh, things in the the thing as well here. Uh, the thing in the thing. Yes, that's what he's going to do. Uh, Hey, everyone. Yeah, what are you going to do about it, Boa? Huh? Alright. And then we are going to give us ourselves a couple more Grumble Slugs if we ever need them. Uh, and I have the ability to spawn two if needed as well. I'm just going to spawn them now. Why not? Alright, and then we're going to play Alawi next turn. And when we play Alawi next turn, it's literally all over. There ain't much they can do about it. There is not much they can do about it. I got Studded Leather as my random item, which is not really that great of a roll, but it's okay. What do we get here? Shadow Totem is actually pretty good on him. And we're just going to play that. Look at that, though. Look at that. And that's so much damage just to start, but uh, don't worry, it gets better. That's right. Um, look at that. All right, and then what we get to do is we get to scout attack with only one Alawi first, right? Because they're gonna heal up here. Is what's gonna happen. And so now they're gonna heal. And look at how big that guy is. Good job. Good job. Yes, that, that blade's edge is uh, well played. Alright. Nope, they can't even stun me. And then look at what happens. Now look at what happens. 
Look at this. We attack with this alley first so that this alley gets the biggest. And look at that. 127 damage. That's right. That is right. This is how you beat the unyielding determination, guys. They, this is a 61-66 sat at Alawi. Look at that. Look at that. What do you even do? Like, that is just impossible to beat. That is beautiful. Just beautiful. And, I, and there was nothing they could have done about it. Like, what could they even have done there? All right. Nah. This is probably just a better one. Uh, feline. Chrono Break is really good in case something goes bad. Like, really good. Plate Worm. Yeah, I think I'll go with Chrono Break. Chrono Break is like my failsafe there, right? Uh. Now, I think I just want to get rid of Buru Lookout here. Like, I don't think I'll ever... Actually, I think I'd rather get rid of Watchful Idol. Because Buru Lookout could get, like, discounted or something, right? Now, okay, so now this one does have Unyielding Determination. Alright, so we, we do have to be a little bit careful here. Um, Darius is going to be a little bit more awkward than some of the other ones here. And then, there's the Flash Bombs, I guess, will get planted here, probably. Uh, we've got the Attack Token to start. No, we're playing this guy, actually. Um... Oh, oh my, never mind. Never mind. Give us more Alawis, please. We've got the Nomad's Medallion on Alawi, guys. It's over, baby. Uh, we do have to attack with both, I believe. Because I'm pretty sure if I only attack with the one, she doesn't actually level. Yeah, so I do have to attack with both, unfortunately. But that's okay, because I think we are going to almost, like, one turn kill them. Do we OTK this Darius? It'll be very interesting to see. Um, if we do or don't. Because they're going to block, obviously. Oh, they're not going to block. Interesting. I guess they're going to block the tentacle later, which is pretty smart. Okay, so now we scout attack with only Alawi, right? Which will buff, which will proc their unyielding determination. And then we're going to have to attack with Alawi again afterwards. So, we attack now, right? Which procs the unyielding determination. They won't block now, because why would you? Um, and then, they're planning on blocking the tentacle, but I don't think that's going to be enough here. Oh, shoot, because I only attacked with the Alawi at the start. Crap. Right, I forgot about that. Alright, that's unfortunate. I should have just attacked with the Tentacle then as well. I forgot about that. Alright, well, we're going to do this, and then we're just going to give this guy even more help um, for the incoming Alawi that we're going to be dropping next turn, which will literally just end the game 100% guaranteed. Uh... Yeah. Just give us more Alawis here. Alright, we're going to attack with this Alawi first. Just on its own. And then we will attack with all the Alawis and everything afterwards. Look at that. 29 out of 30. I'm, I'm literally so close to just threatening the lethal on my own. And then there's not much you can do. It's 140 damage. Look at that. Look at that. The unstable inventory, guys. I finally got a legendary power after like 20 years. Um, we'll heal that back anyways. I'm not even that worried about it. Um, perfect. We did it. We keep moving. It's actually a really quick run so far. Almost jinx speed, honestly. Uh, on an Alawi run, by the way. Which is a lot more impressive, I think, than a jinx doing that. Because, come on, it's jinx. No to this one, actually. Not that good. Honestly, is Shadow Totem good for us? I, I actually think it is. W why not? Uh, just get as many Alawi copies as possible every single round. Um, we don't want the Trifarian Might because the Trifarian Might will actually kill the Alawis, so we don't want that. We will instead take the round start Frostbite. Uh, and then we will go for this one. I don't care about them getting more mana. We are just going to end their lives miserably and without question and without mercy. All right. Uh, Avalanche, get out. This is a 3-mana Alawi, which is kind of annoying, actually. We're, we're going to only take one Alawi. We only need one in our hands. and we, Because we only got the Ancient Cost, unfortunately, uh, which is annoying because it means that we have the attack token now, so we can't attack with Alawi on curve. But we will still take you here. And then we're going to do this. Free attack. And then we will go again. Obviously. 
Uh, we can actually attack with both here. Yeah, I was going to say, if they want to do damage here or something, be my guest. Uh, Alright, beautiful. We're in a good spot. I already have a tier on this. What? Where's my random item? Well, we're just going to give more stuff here. We're going to play the Bubble Bear. We will gladly block the attacking Jinx, by the way, whenever she does drop. So, I'm not really that worried. Uh, yeah, there you go. Beautiful. Locked it. Jinx is already countered, guys. Wow. Look at that. That's crazy. You can't even strike. That's crazy. We also get a rally off of it, too. So, pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. Alright, beautiful. And then we're going to play Alawi next turn and just win the game. That's how this works. Uh, watch this, guys. Triple the Alawi. Triple the fun. Alright. Boom! Vengeance! Look at this! Look at that! Alright, so we're gonna attack with these three first. Alright, we're not gonna be able to win off the first attack, which is fine by me, by the way. Uh, I don't really care as much about the speed run. Oh, never mind. We will win off the first attack. Alright, beautiful. We've done it. And guys, that next scout attack would have been lethal, and then the, the attack afterwards, oh my goodness, that would have been the greatest thing ever. But, we don't even get to go there, because we just smacked that Jinx around like it was nothing. Um, and then we're going to heal up anyways. Oh my god, yes please, we have so many items on Alawi. Shop. Dis does Disarmed really do anything, though? Like, yes, minus one in the grand scheme of, like, 20-plus attacking units. Yeah, I'd much rather have Nature's Revenge. Okay. I was like, does it really matter in comparison to what some of these things have? Like, just complete, absolutely absurd damage. And you're like, yeah, but does, does it matter? Okay, so this is my last attempt to get anything. I can't get this guy. I mean, I can't get him. Yeah, I'm just going to leave it. Whatever. Alright. We're going to Fizz with Duplicate. We've got 10 total powers. One of them being a Legendary. And one of the other ones being Rare and Epics. Uh, what is another? Jesus. I have two Shadow Totems. Okay. Uh, Crumble Slug is a really good item here. Really good item. I don't even care about you. Like, I, I don't even care about the free attack right now. I'd much rather get the, uh, the capture on their unit to stop them from being able to do anything. Or do I, actually? No, the capture seems better. Like, if they need to waste a bunch of stuff just to kill this guy, that's completely fine with me. Yeah. See, that's also them not doing damage to face, which is perfectly fine with me. Uh, and then I get to kill them next turn with my sapling, so... We're in a pretty good spot here. Alright. Oh my god, look at that. Okay, so they have a pokey stick, so I'm not even going to pretend like this sapling's going to live at all. Um, yeah. Yeah, we knew that one was happening. And then... I'm actually going to just kill this guy first right here. I'm just going to play this as well, actually. Why not? If they want to do that. And then I can play the Tentacle Smash as well. Oh, as well as Grumble Slug. Yes, please. Beautiful, guys. We are killing it right now. We, we have, we're getting a lot of good cards. I'm gonna do this first. Predict. We'll get one of these guys. And we'll buff this guy, obviously. 
Oh my god, beautiful. And we can Grumble Slug now. This will get one of these guys out of here. Okay, well that's a little annoying. Alright. So we won't heal back completely. Actually, we will, because Vampiric Scepter. I forgot about that. We will heal back to full. Never mind. Vampiric Scepter is too good. So, now we're going to play Alawi, and we won't even be able to summon all the Alawis because of how many Alawis you get. So, yeah. Look at this. I'm not even going to get all of my Alawis. I literally couldn't get all of them. Jeez. Alright. Uh, we're just going to attack with everything here. Uh... Give you this, you this, and you this. And obviously the tentacle will get blocked most likely. I mean, maybe not, because we're technically rallying here, so they might not actually block it. Yeah. That's the other thing, is they sometimes don't even block, because they're like, yeah, you know, the tentacle's going to spawn, so I'm not really sure. And then, yeah, you just can win off that alone. Uh, beautiful. We don't even need four Alawis. Like, four Alawis is nice, but it's a little excessive, you know? Like, that's a little excessive to get on Alawi. But, uh, hey, you know, I'm not complaining. Whenever we get four Alawis, by any means. So, <laughs> yeah, you, you won't hear complaining from me on that, that front. Chrono Break, and with that, it's really good. And then we can just go into Trindamir here. And they have... This is actually a pretty scary one overall, but I think we'll still be fine. Get out of here, Nivia. We don't want you. Uh, Buru Lookout's actually really good. Um, I think we might keep it. We'll just keep double Grumble Slug plus Buru Lookout, and then we'll see what we get for the Alawi, because ideally we should get the Alawi here, but we'll see. Alright, there's still four drops, so what did we get instead? With our item, we can't even see it, I don't think. Okay, well, unfortunate. Uh, we can actually play Starlet Seer here. Which then we can also play the counterfeit copies on. We're gonna get, they're going to get two of those, yep. Uh, we'll play another one on Alawi here. Oh, did I get it? Oh, I got a second Black Cleaver. Nice. Nice, that's really good to see. Alright, um, go and you and you, so that we can just buff this guy up here and not take any damage, and beautiful. Alright, so we're just waiting until t turn, or man in a four, and then we'll go for it, but until then, Grumble Slug seems like a pretty good idea here. Just capturing a unit seems like it's really good. Uh, get you out of here. Come, oh. Oh, wait, never mind. It's the... Okay, that's the refill on mana. Okay, I completely botched that one. Um, we'll refill our mana again. Why not? Get rid of that Yeti Yearling, I guess. Alright, and then we're going to play the Bubble Bear next. Unfortunately, we're only going to get our one Alawi next turn. I kind of botched this up a little bit. I should have just let these guys die. Oh, wait. No, they won't because round start. I forgot about that. Okay, round start is going to kill all of these guys. Beautiful. <coughs> That's actually what I want here because then that allows me to just summon all of my Alawis. Look at this. Look at all those black cleavers, guys. Look at that. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, yeah, we're just going to attack like this and keep that bad boy alive. They're obviously going to block... Actually, no, they won't. What am I saying? They never block. Um, yeah. They never block, which is kind of a joke when you really think about it. Like, why wouldn't you? Please force me to attack later, but... No, they won't. Uh, which is fine. And with that being said, look at that. We, we are we are officially on to ASO. Full health, ladies and gentlemen. I think we have a better chance of winning with against ASO than we did beforehand. Uh, with the last one. But this is vengeance, ladies and gentlemen. There's no mercy in this one. We will dominate. That is right. That is right. There's, there's right in our eyes. All right, we are going for it. Uh, this is really good for us. Uh, and they have to duplicate as well. Let's go for it. Come on. Let's go. 
All right, Asol, you've never felt wrath like this before, all right? That's right, and you've never faced Cacti's Alawi and his ability to put puff caps in the deck with attacks. That's right. No. No. No, actually. No, I don't want any of those. I just want the Alawi. The Alawi is all I care for. All right, and this guy, too. This guy's pretty good as well. Uh, yeah, he's, he's pretty good. Um, we, ooh, we have a Chrono Break. Nice. Uh, we'll go here first. We don't technically capture anything, but I'm okay with that. Uh, whatever he plays, completely fine with me. We're going to give ourselves more Allowies, just in case things don't go right. Um, and then we are going to take that away. And beautiful. Hey, if they want to kill my stuff now, that's completely fine with me. If they, if they use that silence now, guys, what does that mean for later on, right? That means they can't silence my bad boy Allowy. Of course they would get the karma, though. Of course, naturally. So, uh, that is a little unfortunate. But, uh, we're not even gonna play anything. We don't really need to. We will get a lot of that health back with the Alawi as is. We're just gonna sack this guy. And then we'll play Alawi into the Eye of Nakagaburos afterwards. Just so that we have something to start with. Or, actually, instead, I could just play Alawi into Chrono Break. Oh my god, that sounds like a genius play. Yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll play Alawi into Chrono Break. Okay, so I'm going to play Alawi first. Look at that. And I'm just going to scout attack with every single Alawi I have. And this is the one that needs to stay alive, so we'll pull them in here. And I could play I, but I think I'd prefer to play Chrono Break here, actually. Um, and just go ham. Alright, beautiful. And look at all those puff caps, baby. Those puff caps will win the game for us. Come on. I'm assuming A Soul's going to want to block one of these guys, probably. Uh... Beautiful. Alright. And then Alawi is going to attack again after that. It is a little annoying that they have the. Uh debuff from Nasus going on us. That is a little annoying, but uh, it is what it is. Um, we're going to pull in you and you and you. Well, and you. And then that would force the Nasus to have to block us. And then we also have the Chrono Break as well. So we're doing pretty good here. Alright, beautiful. And now we will just play the ultimate combo, guys, of the Chrono Break. And I think we just win on this round. Rally, and we get all the Lowies. Woo! Look at that. <laughs> Look at all that doubling of attack. All right, now we're just going to go like this, and then like this, and then this, and then this, and then this. Guys, I, I think we've done enough damage there. Do you see that number? Negative 262. I think that's a pretty good number. I don't know what, what you guys think, but uh, I like it a lot. <laughs> um, you know, just keep adding to the spawns, right? Look at that. You know, what, what is our tentacle reach? Look at that, guys. Uh, I think he's doing pretty good for himself there. Um, yeah. Yeah, no, no, no. That seems pretty good. Uh, the, well, the real question is, will A-Soul even block this, you know? Uh, because it deserves to die for what it's done to me. Uh, and all those... By the way, let's not forget about the puff caps, guys. 27 puff caps is no joke, alright? Uh, but, yeah, you know, just... We're doing pretty good there. I mean, I think that's a lot of damage to do to A-Soul, guys. What do you guys think? I mean, just... That beautiful combo that I just exhibited. You know, just... Complete, utter destruction at the hands of, uh, Cacti Mamba and his beautiful Olawi. That's right. Um, who knew Spell Shield would matter way more than it should in this run? Uh, but, hey, now what do we have? We have the Silver Reliquary. That is right, ladies and gentlemen. We only were seven minutes behind the Jinx run with Alawi. Uh, and honestly, I'm not that mad. Especially with how many unyielding determinations we had to face. No! Another one we already have! Give me something I don't have! No! 
All right, well, let's see what the next reward would be, because I've already finished it with allowing, so it won't show me. So I have to do a Targon or a Demacian. All right, let's see. What would get? Let's see what Garen would get if he beat them there. Platinum Vault. Okay, Platinum Vault's no joke, guys. Uh, that's a lot of shards. So, with that being said, I'll let you guys go for now. I know, I know. You guys gotta see the path of vengeance by yours truly. Dominating with Alawi, destroying Asol, putting him in his place. Unfortunately, we did not get a new good silver or a new rare relic, um, but that's okay. It is what it is. It happens to the best of us. We already got the Curator's Gatebreaker a little bit ago, and that is enough on its own for me. Um, and with that being said, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. What did you guys think of my vengeance? That's right, ladies and gentlemen. And with that being said, I'll see you guys later.